Oh my goodness, you guys. Just when you think things could not get any worse for Jojo Siwa, it's just cringe fest city on the internet with her new song, with her new album, with her new look. Oh, this James Charles trying to get a, more attention for himself by tr promoting Jojo Siwa's new song. And oh my god, he looks like a clown. This is super cringy and embarrassing. And I don't know who is worse, Jojo Siwa dancing or James Charles trying to dance because he is desperate for attention. If you guys know anything about James Charles, you know that he's a social climber. Every time someone starts climbing the social ladder, he becomes best friends with them. Once he's done with them, he'll move on to the next person. And now that Jojo is in some hot water with her up and coming song, he, <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, like I cannot stop laughing. Like earlier when I was on TikTok and I found James Charles dancing to this, I was literally crying because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> know what to say you guys like this is the best thing that has happened in a while that I just can't get over how funny this is okay I do want to say that at the end when James Charles does that little arm in front of him and he follows it that's what killed me the most like This is so hilarious, but it's also very sad and cringy. Comment below what your opinion is on this whole rebrand of Jojo Siwa on this whole dance. But I also want to say one thing that I really don't get is the crotch grab. Like, how is grabbing your crotch, how is that going to help you look like a mature adult? I've seen other, like actual real adults artists do it and it looks normal but when Jojo Siwa and James Charles does it it just does not look appropriate it just does not work for them but James Charles if you guys don't know James Charles is a pet you can just do your own research we're not going to go into that but Again, James Charles is trying to promote Jojo Siwa's new song because Jojo Siwa's audience is high schoolers, middle schoolers, kids, and that's what James Charles likes. He likes underage men. And people in the comments are not having it. People are not defending James or liking that he is doing this dance to help try to promote Jojo. So now Jojo goes on a podcast trying to defend herself with a couple other people and all she is doing is making the situation a lot worse. She is just sadly surrounded by a bunch of yes men, yes women who will not tell Jojo the truth. She will not listen to anyone else and this is really going to hurt her in the long run. In my opinion, if Jojo really wants to make this successful, in my opinion, she needs to start having hanging out and having Miley Cyrus, Lady Gaga, and all of these X-rated adult content music artists on her tour with her. Because I do believe that this is going to flop 
in the end. This does not look good in my opinion. Comment below all of your thoughts. Good or bad? Do you think this is going to hurt her in the long run or do you just not care? In this podcast is talking about James Charles and how James Charles is defending her and asked if he could create the dance that goes along with karma and post it. And she's all for that because it's just more publicity to help promote her. And she goes on to say that James Charles also has a really big following, which I don't really understand how he has so has such a big audience when he has been exposed so many times for what he has done in the past. Who? James Charles. James Charles is talking some shit? James texted me yesterday. This fucker. Like, yeah, he texted you? No, he texted me. After text he mocked you? So he texted her and he was like, do you care if I post this? Oh, okay. And he was like, do you care if I make a dance video to Karma? And I was like, please do. I was like, go in, like, wow. poke fun, get, get the deal. Right. Well, here's the thing. Well, good for him for calling, I guess, yeah. and asking for permission. Yeah. It's just to get the views. That's why I appreciate that James reached out being like, hey, do you care if I... And you, like, but you don't. Why did you? Well, for me, I mean, look, that's it, you, it's if, a on, if you had it. Your, I mean, it does. It does promote your song. Yep. James Charles does have a massive, massive platform. Following. Yeah, I mean, press is press, and I get it. But at some point. <laughs> Enough joking around. If JoJo really wants people to start taking her seriously, then she needs to start acting her age, dressing appropriate, and not trying to be the next wannabe Miley Cyrus. Everyone loves Miley Cyrus. When she, when Miley Cyrus, did the Bangers tour, it was on fire. Nobody blinked an eye and had a problem with it. But JoJo is moving way, way too fast. And that look, it's like Halloween just threw up all over her. I get it that she got inspired by Gene Simmons. But girl, you really need to be yourself. That's what people want from you, JoJo. Your whole life has been fake. You are so beyond fake. You over-exaggerate everything that comes out of your mouth and everything that you do because you are a attention whore. All you care about is attention. Jojo really wants to start taking her life more serious and get out of Disney and Nickelodeon. Then why doesn't she start playing in adult movies? in more mature films. Start hanging out with a different type of crowd, but slowly do it so it's not just one big mess. So it's JoJo's life. She can do whatever she wants, but I would love to know your thoughts, your opinions about this. Do you guys think it's cringy? Do you guys like the new JoJo? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.